Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out NCT's 10 brand new music video, Nightwalker. Now, before we get started, uh, an article on NME.com touches on uh, a press conference, a press release event that was held during the release of the mini album where NCT's 10 told the Korea Herald that Nightwalker tells the story of a seductive character who has the power to hypnotize people and also to quote Ten himself who said that's why the highlight dance move involves swaying my hands as if I'm hypnotizing someone. I try to sing like acting when recording because in the music video, you can see that I'm a researcher working at a lab who turns into a monster when the clock hits midnight. So getting some, I guess, a bit of a werewolf kind of vibes. But anyway, let's get into it. Oh, you seductive... Oh, okay. So I've been waiting so long, hiding my power. After the calm lies, the storm, and look at the wire. Don't even know just how close I've come to the fire. You better watch it all come, come, come. Like waves in the ocean, and roll, roll, roll. Sway the emotions, and they slowly already got me down low, low, low. Oh. Oh, that is okay. Oh, god damn. Like the sound effect of the oven. It's not an oven, but you know what I mean. Why is everyone so fucking good looking? Like from the scientist to the fucking secret secret service and, and, and whatnot. And like what I'm supposed to believe that 10 is like this what geeky whatever character that turns into mr hot stuff during the night the the, the dude is already all of that this is this feels like a cw tv show where everyone is like the prettiest people you've ever seen in your life but i'm not complaining um but i i guess that he's going to hypnotize them next so first we got the first we got the ladies now we're gonna get the dudes as well so very 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 balanced uh, good job 10 10 out of 10 for the pain like waves in the ocean yeah just let it flow no time to release holy story rising from the shell I'm gonna face the kids again higher higher rising from the ashes now clocks were a big thing in birthday as well if I'm not mistaken oh it's Morbius time god damn yeah there we go oh I like that a lot that was a really cool part. It's almost like they try to capture him, try to resist the urge to be hypnotized, and yet he kind of manages to escape. It's, which is also like the the urges that I cannot fight because once the clock start, strikes midnight, I turn into like this, you know, uh, seductive uh, dance machine slash de demon I, something. Nightwalker. Yeah, Nightwalker. Yeah. I forgot that the name is actually Nightwalker. My bad. Um, 
Damn. Damn, this instrumental is awesome. And like the sound effect, the production is very haunting. Ooh. Ooh, the breath was nice. Ooh. God damn. That's pretty dope. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was dope. The sound itself of the song is incredibly like inviting and it was like very seductive. Partially, it sounds like something that would be playing during the club scene where John Wick murks everyone. Uh, partially, it sounds like something that that almost like I have this thing now where I compare music that sounds as if it would be in a vampire club or something like that i don't know why i'm i'm thinking of vampires right now but like vampires night walkers creatures whatever like honestly as far as like the actual music video as far as the song goes th there's like a lot of cinematic qualities to it just the story in general of like 10 being like this you know almost like an introvert a complete opposite version of the night walker that he becomes kind of gave me vibes honestly of like beast from x-men when he tried to work on a formula to uh get rid of the x gene and then he actually became beast for real and for you know all time in that uh if i'm not mistaken it was in first class whether it's like his female co-workers that almost like looked at him as if he's like some kind of a geeky lone wolf that cannot be approached and you probably wouldn't want to approach him even though like just because you put some long hair with some bangs like it, it still makes you, you still look pretty freaking dope those ladies don't know what they're looking at but uh once he turns into that night walker obviously like this when he dances he almost like exacts his revenge because i think like one of the co-workers almost like uh foolishly like um pushed him or did or did something like shoved him or bumped him just in general and it uh basically uh broke one of his uh glasses that he was working with and like the formula and everything else so he was like getting back at them by you know making them feel as defense as defenseless as he was feeling while he was working with them then like the nds i think came in to have a conversation with him and take him away i love the way they use the dancing choreography as they lock him in and he just starts almost like escaping from a maze and then he basically evades them uh that was really really dope as well his facial expressions like the, 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 the guy just has like this incredible like this modeling face like um he he could definitely perfect that blue steel look if you guys ever watch zoolander like he 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 just has that put him on a fucking you know a fashion show and he will knock it out of the park the ending was really really cool because he actually you know he feels more like himself than than anything else as a night walker when he does the little step which is like a representation of like his giddiness in a way like he's happy which i thought was really really cool and almost like a catch me if you can kind of thing because i hypnotize you so how could you possibly defeat me there's, there's also kind of like an interesting part that this almost i'm not sure some of the cars almost like feel as if they are trying to represent an era that isn't like 2024 but something much much older which helps add to that cinematic uh vibe i guess like the trend 
trench uh, coats and and everything else uh, with the agents and like um, just in general like this gave me like either some x-men vibes this also gave me like some vibes of like you know some some villains like electro from spider-man in the you know the amazing spider-man who was like this uh geeky nobody and then he tasted that power and whatnot only 10 is obviously still you know looks still looks pretty freaking amazing regardless there is an interesting part like an interesting emphasis on like uh cashews and it's almost as if like he has like this ocd in a way everything is very much laid out so there's almost like this not necessarily psychopathic tendencies <laughs> let's not take it too far but at the same time the newspaper literally says the case of the missing biologist was he working with him and he got his secret and he killed them is he trying to take his place but everything like the organization skills like the cashews are so laid out the, the glasses from the biggest to the smallest one everything is in the order of smallest to biggest and like the roundiness of like the various flasks and everything else that he uses everything is so methodical almost perfectly laid out my ocd is actually kind of giving me a hard time because one of the things one of the objects uh is a little bit crooked so that's starting to drive me a little bit crazy but uh at the same time i thought this was really really dope i kind of like wonder if there's any symbolism to like this is weird but i guess uh cashews uh what is the symbolism of cashews let's see um in many cultures the cashew nut it was revered for its symbolic significance and was often used in rituals and ceremonies its association with fertility prosperity and abundance made it a common feature in traditional customs and religious practices it is a bit of a ritual uh i guess and he is making experiments it, are the cashews even part of the whole fucking thing who the fuck knows honestly but like one of the ladies literally bumps into him because she they just wanted to fuck with him because the other ladies are walk are watching from the sidelines so it's very very intentional so it's almost like they were bu bullying him and they were like let's fuck off and 10 is like hey it's 10 out of 10 time it's midnight let let's get back at you bitches so he he does uh by taking their like i i'm taking this way too fucking far but like in a cinematic kind of like movie when the bully becomes the bully and the bully gets a taste of its own medicine because 10 feels defenseless because all of those they pounce on him and they make fun of him so now he's going to take the one thing that they want the most which is freedom so they're being hypnotized against their will it sounds even darker now that i'm saying it out loud but you, you get my point same thing with the agents obviously this was fucking awesome honestly i i, I love the uh the production on the song it sounds so incredibly haunting it it, it legitimately sounds at times that there's something really really mystical happening in the background as the song is almost like so incredibly immersive i remember you know production being a big big part in the birthday music video as well in the song itself because it almost felt like as if you were listening to the song underwater there were some instances in that in that music video there was also an emphasis on the clock obviously which you know uh makes sense with midnight and midnight signifies the next day so birthday obviously they're not connected but still kind of like nice little thing to connect it for myself i guess but uh he he literally becomes like this super confident super villain in a way because a biologist is missing after all but who knows if he's missing because he fucked with them or and he defended himself who knows i don't really know but if they want to write a movie out of this honestly it would be super super uh awesome all i gotta say uh in the end is that 10 was a 10 out of 10 i know uh this has been so fucking played out to say that but you know his name is 10 so he has to deliver and he did this was awesome maybe even better than birthday just because of how addicting and uh immersive 
the song was. I usually I talk less about like crushing on the idols and whatnot, and more so about the things that really intrigue me within like the story of a music video. So even if I went a little bit too far, that's the things. Those are the things that kind of like catch my eye and make me want to talk about this. So uh, if you are one of those people who was intrigued by the actual music video and it made any sense, let me know in the comment section. Uh, Ten did a phenomenal job and uh, everyone else involved. The choreography was really, really almost like hauntingly trippy in a way. Ten talked about how he wanted the choreography in that same article that I mentioned, how he wanted the choreography, I believe, to be more simplistic. Simple but effective, I believe. And he almost like carry some mannerisms within his dancing almost as if like some kind of a creature a werewolf a night walker and all that kind of stuff so uh yeah that's that's how i got it, honestly if you enjoyed it make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you all in the next one be well and safe wherever you are see you